the social partners have agreed that this presidential job summit will emerge with a framework agreement that is both ambitious and realizable. It is the product of intensive engagement amongst all of them over all these months since February. It, is, it has been done in a spirit of cooperation underpinned by the need to reach consensus on a number of issues, but it has also been done on the basis that the unemployment challenge that we face should be seen as a common problem to all of us as South Africans and that it does not belong to any one single social partner, be it government or business or labor or communities. It belongs to all of us and therefore it behoves on all of us to find solutions, to come up with interventions that are going to help us to address this challenge. Importantly, the framework that has been arrived at provides the outline of an emerging social compact to grow an inclusive economy and fundamentally change our society as well. One of the great difficulties we've faced in recent years is that cooperation between communities, labor, and government, and business has weakened, making it difficult to advance the collective interest. Countries that have succeeded very well in tackling the economic challenges that they themselves have faced, as well as social problems, are countries that have been willing to get all partners to sit down and reach agreement on what needs to be done and to work together to ensure that it truly does get done. Countries like Ireland, the Netherlands, and Spain have been successful in forging social accords in response to economic difficulties and challenges that they have faced right through the modern era that we live in. Yet in South Africa, with low levels of trust, weak confidence, and heightened social tensions, we have neglected what I would call our strongest and greatest asset, our ability to unite and work together. It was by working together that we managed to overcome the nightmare of apartheid. That is what brought an end to what many people believed was an intractable conflict that had raged for generations. We were able to, in an inclusive way, to write a democratic constitution that guarantees the equal rights for all the people of our country. Now, this framework agreement gives us the opportunity to once again develop trust and forge cooperation amongst all of us as social partners. Through this framework agreement, we are demonstrating that we are capable of developing a new social compact for jobs, for growth, and for transformation of our economy. This presidential job summit is just the start of the process of serious engagement that will intensify in the coming months. As I had a few occasions to meet with all the social partners, they kept saying, we need more time to sit amongst ourselves to discuss important issues that range from the structure of our economy, the future trajectory of our economy, the skills challenge that our country faces, the educational outcomes of our education system, challenges of climate change, yes, the future of work, and a whole range of other things. 
This is what the social partners united in the NETLEC process have been saying they want to do. So this summit is the beginning, is the real start of a process that will engage all the social partners in serious engagement. It is therefore not a once-off event, but the first phase of an extensive process in which all of us will work closely together to improve growth, to protect existing jobs, and to work together to create new jobs.